Hello, welcome to Akuma America. I'm Kyle Claver, sales engineer. And I'm Jacob Eves, applications engineer. And today, we're here to show you the MU6300 VL. The MU6300 is a bridge style construction, which gives us accuracy, rigidity, and thermal stability. Jacob, can you explain why thermal stability is important to five axis machining? Yes. Historically, you come into work, cut your first part, measure it, and you end up having to chase those dimensions all day long as your machine grows. Akuma uses three concepts for the thermal friendly design. Number one, we design a machine that can dissipate ambient temperature. Number two, we use simple shapes that are symmetrical thick wall castings. And number three, we take advantage of the high technology in the control by utilizing thermal couplings in the casting and in the spindle. Does the machinist have to do anything for this to function for them? Absolutely not. It's fully integrated into the control. It runs in the background. They'll never need to do anything to the control while they're running it. So it maintains an accurate work environment for the entire day? Absolutely, regardless of what the ambient temperature is in the shop. The MU6300 is a vertical five axis with a trunnion. Jacob, can you tell us about the trunnion? Sure, I'll show you. Our A axis has dual cam rollers. Our C axis is direct drive and in lathe mode can spin to 800 RPM with a maximum turning diameter just shy of 33 inches. The table weight, 1,320 pounds. Anywhere on the table, it can hold it. Now this is fitted with an HSK 100 10,000 RPM spindle, 35 horsepower. Do we offer other spindles? We do, we offer a range of 15 to 25,000 RPM spindles. The MU6300 comes standard with the OSP E300SA. The SA stands for multitasking. Included in this control is collision avoidance. Jacob, why would somebody want collision avoidance? Well, in my experience, more collisions take place when you're approaching the part and when you're departure from the part. Collision avoidance will help eliminate that. Is it active in MDI and manual mode? Yes, it stays active until you cancel it. So that's gonna really help when people are doing setups and changeovers. It's gonna protect the machine tool and their investment from a crash. Absolutely, the greatest risk is when you're hand wheeling an indicator over the top of a part and you hit the wrong button and all of a sudden you lost the indicator. Collision avoidance will stop the machine before it crashes in. So it's a virtual CAD model machine running inside the control. Yes, once you set your environment and cast, it'll prevent you from making the big uh-ohs. So two big features in our control software is tool center point control for all your five axis machining, dynamic fixture offset for all your three plus two. Now, dynamic fixture offset is a great thing to have. You can set your part up anywhere on the table, run your probing cycle, let it sit there and set your zeros, and then run your program. And from part to part, you repeat it. There's no lengthy setup from part to part indicating your part in. You just hit the button and go. So this allows us to program the part from part zero, set it up to part zero, and then let the machine do all the work in the background without machinist intervention. Absolutely. So we reduce our cost of setup and throughput to the shop. Simple G-code activates it, simple G-code cancels it. So one important feature that you might need if you own a five axis machine is the ability to check your five axis machine to make sure everything's still working properly. Now a USA standard on Akuma five axis is auto tuning. Akuma's five axis auto tuning, not only does it do your pivots, but it does straightness, squareness, and roll pitch and yaw, which gives you a volumetric accuracy for the entire work envelope. This allows you to check your machine at install and then health check it at periodic points. What else would we want to run this feature? Well, the main reason you'd want to run it is if you had any kind of accident, any kind of tool collision, drop the fixture on it, drop the part. It's easy enough to set up the, a provided Renishaw tooling ball with the Renishaw probe. Software is already built in, it comes in the control, no thinking involved. You run it, it tells you your error. If your error is minimal, then you're good to keep running. If the error starts to look like it's out of tolerance, I remember seeing that it shows it in magenta. It does. And that would be a point that we would want to call a service technician to come in and check our machine. Most definitely. That, that tells me that chances are you have squareness in the head or your pivot points are now 
beyond what auto-tuning can correct. So I can use this to really keep an eye on my machine for the longevity of ownership. Absolutely, and you have, you have multiple steps. Some of them can only take seven minutes to run auto-tuning. You can do a full cycle that takes about 18. You can make it part of your standard every morning when you come into your shop. Run it, tell me the machine's good, and then start running your parts. Thank you for joining us today on the tour of the MU6300 VL. For further information, please visit akuma.com.